Hey guys, Kevin here, and let's look at the basics of programming. So, uh, so let's talk about the basic syntax. So, as we saw while testing our VS Code, uh, if it's working or not, we we use this code, right? And uh, you might be wondering what are these different things. So, first of all, header file. So, header file, this line that you see, hashtag include IO stream. So what this does is that IO stream is a header file. So think of it as a toolbox, all right? You have a toolbox with uh, let's let's assume you have a screwdriver box, all right? A screwdriver box will have a handle and will have different uh, screw uh, different rods in it, which have you know which can be used for screwing different nuts and everything. So that's a header file with different tools in it. That's a header file, and we are we are using IO stream. Sometimes when you want the computer to know about some other programs, other predefined programs, you 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 write another line and you include that header file as well. Uh, next is namespace. So this provides a scope to the identifiers. All right. So you see C out over here. How will the computer know what what do you mean by writing C out? It's using namespace std. All right. Then you have the main function. So this is a main place where you know the computer starts setting the code. Once it you once it sees that int main, so whatever is in the main section, it will start reading it and it will start executing it as well. And what return does is it terminates the function. Now returns it, now int main is actually a function. We will learn more about it when we cover functions. But whenever you write return zero, it returns. So it terminates the entire thing with the value of output value of zero. This was the syntax. So uh, let's look at the objects of the IO stream header file. So the objects are C out and C in. As we saw, C out can be used to you know give output statement. So like in the previous case, we gave the output as hello world. So you can use it to print text. C in is the input thing. So in in the future when we study out variables, you know how you can assign or you you can give input of a value to a variable. Uh, C in can be used for it. Uh, different data types. So here are the different data types: integer, character, boolean, floating point, double floating point, and void. What an integer does is that it can store an integer in it. Integer is you know anything which is a whole number from negative infinity to positive infinity. That's an integer. So minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two, and then one, two, three, four, like that. Uh, then you have boolean. What boolean is that it's a one byte thing. It's either true or it's either false. So that can be used many different times. We have a character. Character is just A, B, C, D. So you have 26 characters: A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, Z, and then uh, capital in it as well. So A to Z in capital and in small. That's a character. Uh, you have a floating point, which is float. So when you want to store uh, decimal values, so like 5.33, you will be using float. It's four bytes in size. You have a double floating point. It can be used for you know bigger numbers, you know, which have more storage, you know, like more decimal points or something. And then void, void is used for mainly for functions. It is nothing actually. And then you have comments. So comments can be used. So over here in the basic syntax, you can see that uh, we did a double slash over here where we gave the Comment. So whenever a, you you wrote a code, all right, and then someone is going through it, how will they understand? Now, for them to understand it easily, you can you. It's a good practice to you know write comments so that they can understand easily. Over here, also print hello world. And yeah, one more thing. So C out uses these greater than symbols. C in will be using the uh, sorry. C out uses the less than symbols. And C N will be using the greater than symbols. Now, how how I remember this is like a crocodile, all right? Crocodile's mouth. So, just imagine crocodile is speaking. So he will say "Hello world." So what his mouth would be like this, and "Hello world" would come out. So that's C out. And while uh, a crocodile is having his food, all right, he'll be eating the food. So it will be like this, and the input will be going inside. So that's why you use uh, greater than symbols for input and Let's end the world out. Hope it makes sense. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more of such tutorials. Uh, follow me on Twitter at the red Kevin Picaria. Uh, if you have any queries, let me know them down in the comment section or on this email ID that is ask dot Kevin Picaria at the red gmail dot com.